With the Fed raising interest rates to cool down the economy and car manufacturers having supply chain issues, it's very hard right now to get a car, especially if your credit is bad. But today, I'm going to show you a hack that we can use to get a car loan with your credit being bad and no down payment. So join me on the computer and I'm going to show you as usual, step by step, how you can get a car with bad credit and no down payment. For this video, just for full transparency, when I say you're going to buy a car with bad credit with no down payment, what I'm actually saying is because the word hack is a buzzword, we're going to actually just use information that I've gathered in a strategy so that you can get a car by increasing your credit score in a very short period of time. Now, when I say a very short period of time, I mean, it's going to happen like it's going to seem like it's overnight. Right. So um, everything that we're talking about is just strategies that are actually general. But when you combine them in a way, you can achieve amazing results. So nothing that I'm saying is out the ordinary. It's not anything that anyone couldn't do. It's just I'm going to compile it in a way that's going to be easy and very comprehensive for I feel like anyone because anyone can do this. So with that said, uh, we're going to buy a car with bad credit and again, no money down. So like I was just saying, the, the first thing we have to do is raise our credit score seemingly overnight. Now, there are various ways that you can do this, but here is the most effective way to raise your credit score so you can get that car. So you need to be added on as an authorized user. Now, I'm going to approach this as if I'm speaking with someone who's um, never had credit because I don't, I don't want to if I'm saying something that sounds like it's obvious, I'm, I apologize. I'm just saying that because there may be someone who is hearing about this for the first time. They could be young. They just don't know anything about credit. So just bear with me. So what is an authorized user on a credit card? An authorized user is someone who is added to a primary card holder's credit account even though the credit card company will issue a card with the authorized user's name on it, the primary user is legally responsible for paying charges on the account. So here's what I'm saying. When you are added on to someone's credit card account as an authorized user with various credit cards, you get to adopt that person's payment history. So let's get into how that helps you get a car. Being added as an authorized user on another person's card can give you credit history or build your credit. Increase your credit score fast using this method. Doing this will give you the history on a, um, the history and a credit score boost. So here's what I'm saying. When I tried to get my first car, I had bad credit. My mom added me onto one of her credit cards. When she added me onto one of her credit cards, I got all of her positive payment history. So my credit score was in like the mid 500 range. And it was like overnight, my credit score went up to like a 630. So I went from basically bad credit to fair credit seemingly overnight, right? So that's what we need to do. We need to get your score to at least the 600 range. And the reason why this is going to work is because 35% of your credit score is on-time payments. So if you get three, four years, two years of on-time payments, that's 35% of your score. It's going to dramatically increase your credit score. Your other 30% uh, of your credit score is utilization. How much credit is being used on that credit card? So if this person is only using you know, 10% or less on their card, plus they have positive payment history for, I would say, at least two years, you are going to see a huge increase in your score. You may see 50, 80, possibly even 100 points seemingly overnight once you get added onto that card. If you're going to do this, you want to do it, um, I would say, like right before their cycle date closes. That way, um, when you get added on, it reports a little bit faster. OK, but this is the hack strategy that we're going to use. Now, I'm sure some people are thinking, well, what if I don't have anyone that can add me on or that doesn't want to add me on? First of all, just know that if you're asking someone to add you on and they're in a position where they do want to help you, they don't have to give you a credit card. 
they could literally add you on for 30 days. This will just be a temporary boost to your credit score in order for you to be able to qualify for um, to be able to qualify for that car loan. So just let them know if they're hesitant that you're not getting a card. This can be temporary, just enough for me to boost my score, just so that I am able to get, um, you know, better rates for a vehicle. So let's talk about if you don't have anyone that you can ask. There's a trick for that. So what if I don't have anyone that can add me? If you want to get an instant credit boost and you don't have anyone that can add you, you can use vendor trade lines to increase your credit score. And if you don't know what vendor trade lines are, I'm just going to go over that quickly. Um, there's a two websites that I recommend. One is coasttradelines.com. The other one is tradelinesupply.com. And we're going to go over exactly what a vendor trade line is and what does that actually mean. So coast trade lines. This is the fastest and most reliable way to boost your credit score. Boost your credit score in just one week. This is how it works. Our credit is your credit. We partner with individuals with high credit card limits to temporarily add, to, to temporarily add you as an authorized user to their credit cards. Their card's perfect payment history and high limit will post to your credit file, boosting your score. This means their credit is now your credit and you can qualify for things like a housing mortgage, auto finance or business loans. So it's like when your parents add their when parents add their child as a user to their credit cards, our credit partners will add you to their credit cards to boost your credit score. So if you're a low credit individual, um, you want to watch your score increase and you need that boost in order to get, you know, a car loan, a mortgage loan, business loan, any loan. This strategy doesn't just work with vehicles. It also will work with any loan. All right. And I'm going to give you an example of, you know, what that looks like. So if you go to buy trade lines and you pick your own trade line. So. There's a full inventory and you handpick by your preference. Now, this does cost um, a decent amount of money. Uh, pick your trade line, the fastest and most reliable way to boost your, your uh, score. So here's someone with a Chase 23K credit line with eight years of history. Eight years of history. So there's three spots left. It's $580. But you're going to get... A 23K credit line with eight years of history. If you have a 500 credit score, what do you think that's going to do for your credit score? Your credit score is going to jump up. I mean, if you're not, if you, I would say you will probably be somewhere in at least the low to mid range 600s by adding an account like this to your credit score. And it adds it on there for $580. And I believe that, yeah, they, they do it for 60 days. That's more than enough time for you to get in position to get ready to get your vehicle. All right, so let's look at other things. Uh, there's a chase right here, another one for 27.9, for $27.3,000 credit line, nine years of history for $640. And if these prices seem high to you, there are different uh, price ranges. The lower the price you'll probably notice the lower the credit limit or the younger the account is. So the older the account is, the better it'll be. I mean, they even have one right here that's not available, but a, a synchrony. It's a low credit limit, $800, but nine years of history for $290. So, you know, a little bit less, but that's okay. So you would just go through here and just decide which one would work within your budget. And if this seems like, um, you know, a lot, my, what, what you guys have to understand is if you're trying to get a vehicle and you're looking at paying a crazy interest rate, 29%, something nuts like that, you paying $470, 770 even, what you're going to save over the long term, over like a 60 month car loan, it's, it's, it's a no brainer. Because I know like sometimes um, we're thinking in the immediate moment, but if you're thinking long term, you're going to save more than that within the first year just by having that lower interest rate. So this is an investment into yourself. 
And a um, little more information here. Lines with an asterisk have excellent posting histories. Grab these to minimize the risk of non-posting. Need to post to all three bureaus? Grab a uh, BOC, PNC, um, and that just lets you know, like, if you want this to report to all three credit bureaus, then you want to make sure to grab these accounts. These post to all three. If you know that you have a, a bank that you're going to go to and you know which credit, uh, which credit profile that they pull from, then you can just pick the one that they pull from. And it says, please select no more than three trade lines per application. We are not able to process orders with more than uh, three trade lines. And then, of course, the trade lines bank, uh, how long the trade line has been open, the longer, the better. Trade line statement date is the line that you're seeing with the 25th, 26th. Remember, I was saying you want to look at the point where the statement cycle date's about to close. That's usually when it's going to report. So trade line statement date, it should post to your file about seven to 10 days after this date. So, I mean, this is just a, a way where, again, you can ask your friend, you can ask your mom, you can ask your girlfriend, you can ask anybody you know with a good payment history to add you on as an authorized user for free. If you have um, no one that you can ask, then this is an alternative. You could even get a friend where you could say, hey, if your payment history is excellent and you have a, a high limit, I throw you $50. Can, I, can I, you just add me on there for 30 days? I don't need a card. I just want to get this loan. In most instances, I would do that for free for my friends, you know, because especially if they're just trying to get into a better position. So this is definitely an option for you. Um, I do believe that uh, this is one of the best ways that you can get a low interest rate on an auto loan, a home loan, a business loan, or temporarily increase your score 100 points. I mean, just to get started uh, with... Um, with repairing credit or for someone who doesn't have credit at all, where you can get a big jump so that you can get the lowest interest rates on anything that you need. And I just wanted to take you guys to trade line supply as well. Uh, so you can see the accounts that are on here. Maybe there's better pricing. I haven't looked at this in a while. So here's a, uh, a Barclays for 5,000 opened in 2020. So about three years old. Uh, reporting period, March 9th to March 16th, one in stock, $322. So you can kind of like go through here and take a look at the different ones. I would look for a decent limit. Here goes a $10,000 limit. Uh, it's only been open since 2021. So you may get like three years out of that. I think that's not bad. $373.75, not bad. Um, you know, they actually seem to have... Uh, better prices than what we saw for the last one okay pretty cool so i just wanted to give you an example of both and you know if you need that 100 point credit score boost this is the thing for you or get added to someone's account as an authorized user all right now this is just step one so let's get back to step two we so now here's what we figured out so far. We know how we can get a huge boost to our credit score to where now we can pretty much qualify for most, uh, most basic loans. But now we need to get funded and I don't recommend going to a bank. If you're trying to get a car loan, we don't wanna go to a bank and this is what we're going to do for step two. We're gonna find, for step two, we're going to find a credit union to get your auto loan. And again, I'm sorry if this uh, seems like it's redundant. It's things that you already know, but I just want to make sure that it's, it's fair for uh, anyone who may not know. So what is a credit union? A credit union is a nonprofit financial institution that's owned by the people who use its financial products. Credit union members can access the same kind of products and services as offered by a traditional bank, such as credit cards, checking and savings accounts and loans. Members elect a board of directors to manage the credit union to ensure that their best interests are represented. Now, the reason why you want to go with the credit union, credit unions aim to serve members. 
They offer competitive products with better rates and fees than you will see for a for-profit bank. So credit unions, um, they also usually care more about the relationship between them and their members than they actually care about your credit score. Even though your credit score does play a factor, what's more important is having a relationship. So since a credit union is owned by members, you'll need to meet eligibility requirements in order to qualify to open an account, apply for a credit card, or take out a loan. Credit unions can offer lower interest rates than banks, and they're more lenient with their approvals. All right. And you know I'm not going to hang you guys out to uh, dry. I told you this is a step-by-step -step process. I'm going to show you from start to finish how you can get a car with bad credit and no down payment. I'm going to do exactly what I said. So what I did was I put together the top four credit unions for auto lenders to date. Right now it is Tuesday, February 13th, 2018. In 24 the reason why I'm making sure to say the date on the video I mean you'll see it anyway in the description but I'm gonna say this because I want you guys to know that these rates change so if you're watching this a year from now two years from now however long it is that you're watching it always double check the rates to see if they change but I'm gonna tell you why I chose these lenders because this is gonna be perfect for someone who has bad credit they all pre-qualify what do I mean by that? For these loans, when you go to see if you're approved, they're going to pre-qualify you before you even have to do a hard inquiry, which means you only have to get a hard inquiry if you're actually approved. I had a friend who went to a car dealership. He went to the dealership to um, get funded. They ran his credit. I kid you not. He had 60 hard inquiries on his credit report, 60. You don't even have to get one hard inquiry until you're approved. That's the reason why, and I handpicked these lenders. You will not have to get a hard inquiry until you are approved. And they cover 100% of the cost. You don't have to put a down payment. These lenders will cut you a check. I think uh, 48 hours is the longest time. Um, some of them do same day funding. So it's going to only take you 48 hours to get a check from this person to get a loan. They have the lowest interest rates to date that I found. If you find lower interest rates, then, you know, great. Um, if, if you can find a better credit union with better interest rates, you know, awesome. But for the ones that I picked for these reasons, this is the lowest that I found to, to um, date. The lowest minimum credit score requirement is 600 and that's just for one bank that's for one of them the other three actually don't have a minimum score requirement set so check this out let's i, I just want to make sure that we understand i just showed you how to boost your 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 score significantly overnight right i'm showing you now there are credit unions that i'm going to show you that pre-qualify you, you won't get a hard inquiry until you approve. They cover 100% of the cost, which means you have no down payment. The interest rates are going to be the lowest that you can possibly get. And the, and the lowest minimum credit score requirement is 600, and that's for one of them. The other three don't have a minimum set, but I would say like for standard, that would probably be a good place to uh, start. All right, so now we are going to get into these additional lenders. So the first one that I want to start with is NASA Federal Credit Union. And I got some data points here. So NASA Federal Credit Union, anyone can join right now. The longer you extend your loan for this um, credit union, the higher the APR will be. And that's, of course, because the less time that you have a loan, the less risky it is. The longer your loan is extended, the higher the risk. They also offer refinance options. So if you're looking in, you know, if you're shopping around for refinancing, this is good too. And for this one, this is the only one where your score needs to be as low as 600 to get this auto loan. And you could get pre-qualified again without doing a hard inquiry. That means you can make sure you're able to get this loan without impacting your credit score. You don't have you guys un understand you don't have to go to a dealership. You don't have to deal with the nonsense. 
We're not dealing with that. I'm trying to, I like to do things simple and easy. That's my method, simple and easy. We're going to boost that credit score fast. We're going to find the person who's going to offer me the best rates at the lowest possible credit score. So now let's go to NASA Federal Credit Union. All right. So I'm going to show you how to get pre-qualified with NASA Federal Credit Union. So auto loans that make you smile. Whether you're buying a new car, a used car, or just refinancing your existing auto loan, a NASA federal auto loan can put more money in your pocket. No payment is required for 60 days. Terms are flexible and rates are as low as 5.99% APR. So buying a new or used car. Now, if you're in the, if you were in the prime credit range for 36 months, your APR can be as low as 5.99%. Now, if you had like prime credit, that's not the greatest. But if you had subprime, um, you know, even uh, in fair, these are pretty good terms. Uh, 37 to uh, 63 months, 7.09%. 64 to 75 months, 7.94%. 76 to 84 months, 8.79%. And today is February the 13th, 2024. So these rates can change. So if you're looking at this later on, they can vary and you can check your rate again with no impact to your credit score. It can't get any better than this guys. So choosing NASA federal is a smart move. And here's why we'll help you make the, the decision that, that that's right for you. That's in your budget and checking rates is hassle free and it's easy online pre approvals. You'll have extra negotiating power with NASA federal pre approval behind you. All right. So let's go ahead and, Let's actually see if we can get pre-qualified here. So for NASA Federal Credit Union, see your pre-qualified offer and rate in as little as two minutes. Check your Checking your rates will not affect your credit score. So right now, um, if you're watching this, my personal recommendation, if you're not in a rush, you can join NASA Federal Credit Union right now and you don't have to meet any particular eligibility requirements. If you're not in a rush and your credit score is not the best, I would recommend you going ahead, starting a, a relationship with this bank, uh, with this credit union, excuse me, doing a um, checking account, savings account, maybe getting some additional products. If your credit score was stronger, you know, you could just go ahead and just fill out this loan. All right. So, I mean, after you submit that information, your address, everything like that, in two minutes, they'll come back with a pre-qualification offer. So you guys go ahead, fill that out. Uh, let me know if you chose NASA Federal Credit Union and let me know what you qualified for. All right. Credit Union. It's Consumer Credit Union. Consumer Credit Union. Anyone can join this credit union as well as the rates are as low as 6.84 percent. There is no minimum credit score re required for Consumer Credit Union, and it takes 48 hours for them to make a lending decision. So let's go to Consumer Credit Union's website and see if we can get pre-qualified. All right, so we're looking at getting pre-qualified for Consumer Credit Union, and this is their auto loan details. Right now, their zero to 60 month term is 6.84% for a 2002 or newer vehicle. The APR for a 2018 to 2021 is 7.13. Of course, depending on your credit, if it's good, if it's bad, these rates can vary. But as usual, the longer the term, the longer, um, the more the risk, the higher the APR. The lower the term, the less the risk you know, you're not going to have as high an APR. And if you're looking for any other vehicles, those vehicles are there as well. But let's just go to the apply for a loan option. And again, if your credit is not strong, you probably want to look at opening an account first. If you're not pressed for time, if, you, if you're in a hurry, then you're in a hurry. But if you're not pressed for time, I would take it slow, open an account, uh, build that relationship for at least six months and you're good to go. So uh, welcome to Consumer Credit Union. Please accept the following disclosures to get started. And if you guys want to go ahead and read through this, it's just consenting to um, submitting your personal information and what they're going to use in order to qualify you. 
for that loan. Primary application information. Let's start with a little about you. And then this is uh, the requirements field. If you're an existing member, then you can log in. If you're applying as new, please continue to verify and pre-fill your information. So there's going to be a QR code for you to scan, or you can also click and they're going to open a new tab for you. So with the new tab that we're looking at, we can start verification. When you start the verification, they're going to ask you to enter your driver's license information and you can upload from either your mobile, uh, take a photo using a webcam, or you can upload a file from your device. Now, our next credit union is the only credit union that you do um, you do need to meet eligibility requirements in order to join this credit union. So not everyone can join Navy Federal, but if you want me to drop a video on how to join Navy Federal, I will do that. Uh, personally, I am a member of Navy Federal. I have a couple of their products. I had their in reward secure card. I had that graduate to a cash reward cards. I have the go re the go rewards card, and I also have their go biz um, business MasterCard. All right. So I have a few products with Navy Federal. I think they're a really uh, good credit union. So Navy Federal's lowest APR is 4.54%. You can apply and get pre-approved. Once you're approved, they will send you a check for the entire amount of this vehicle. This does not require a down payment guys. Once you have the check, you can purchase the vehicle from the dealership. There's no, this is hassle free. So Navy Federal pulls your TransUnion credit score. So if you were looking at the um, the trade line option, you want to make sure if you go with Navy Federal, you're looking at one that has TransUnion reporting. So uh, TransUnion credit score, and there isn't a minimum credit score requirement. However, Navy Federal is all about relationship building. Navy Federal has their own internal score for members. When I was rebuilding credit, Navy Federal was a big part of that. I would suggest if you want to get an auto loan and you're not pressed for time, open up an account if you can and get a pledge loan with them. Get the insecure rewards uh, secure card, open up a checking and savings, make deposits into the checking and savings account for six months, pay down um, that pledge loan and get that secure card, pay it on time for six months. You do that. Plus what we just talked about, you're in the game, you're in, you're, you're in the game, but let's let's go to the Navy Federal website. So now I'm going to show you how to get pre-approved for Navy Federal Credit Union auto loans. So let's take a look at the rates, okay? So shopping for a new or used car, get exclusive benefits with our great auto loans and see what you need to get started. Let's just take a look at what we need. So step one, you'll need to provide the following information contact information for applicant and co-applicant, phone number and email, current housing, employment, and income information for applicant and co-applicant, trade-in information if that's applicable, uh, the amount you expect to finance including vehicle purchase price, taxes, tags, title, and warranty, uh, less any down payment, length term of the loan you want. So when you're doing this, if you don't know the vehicle that you're going to choose, there is an option that you don't know the vehicle yet and you can just get the amount. So this only applies if you've already picked out a vehicle and you know the VIN number and you know the state, the exact mileage, the dealer. And if you have all that information, then great. If you don't have a vehicle picked out, no problem. More about applying. So after submitting your application, you'll receive a text or email letting you know the, the uh, status of your application. We understand that when shopping for a car, you can't always wait for a decision. That's why we typically provide a decision in five minutes or less. You receive your funds. That's step three. You can choose to pick to pick up a, uh, a check at your nearest branch or have it mailed to your home. Send us the title once you pay the seller. Ensure the title is received by Navy Federal within 90 days of purchase. So before we go to that apply now option and look at those steps, let's just go back and check out um, some of our current rates that we have right now. A new vehicle for Navy Federal is 4.54%. Again, if you're a prime lender, you're looking at something like this for 36 months. 37 to 60 months, 4.99%. 61 to 72 months, 5.29%. 
73 to 84 months APR as low as 7.19%, 85 to 96 months APR as low as 8.09%. And that is today's date. Uh, rates are based on February 12th, 2024. If you're watching this video at a later time, these rates are subject to change. They may be lower. Could, could be higher. It just depends. Um, they also partner with TrueCar. So they actually help you pick your car online just to make this buying experience that much easier. It's seamless. You don't have to worry about the nonsense at the dealership. That's very, very important. Again, you can pre-qualify. This won't impact your credit score. I mean, it really doesn't get much better than this, guys. Last, last credit union is going to be PenFed Credit Union. Now, why did I save PenFed Credit Union for last? It's last on our list. The APR is slightly higher than Navy Federal, but anyone can join PenFed. Anyone can join. So um, that's very important. If your credit score is lower than 580, I would recommend establishing a relationship with them first. But if we took that step that we did in the beginning, authorized user or vendor trade lines, we know that we should be able to get our score at least to a 600 at the very least. So when I say build a relationship, what do I mean? I mean getting a checking account, getting a savings account, setting up direct deposit, uh, Pre-qualifying for PenFed does not affect your credit score. PenFed will do same-day funding. You just have to ask for it. Um, they have uh, no minimum credit score. Um, it's not been set, but I would shoot for at least a 630. If you're any lower, again, establish a relationship. And a fun fact, and the reason why I saved them for last, PenFed is the largest auto lender in the United States. So this might be a good place to start. If you're looking for that auto loan now, uh, let's go ahead and look at getting pre-qualified with PenFed. So shift into drive with a great rate and a pre-qualification rates as low as 5.2 for two, four percent APR. And they do up to 125 percent financing. I know that sounds crazy, but if you were doing, let, let's say, a trade in for a old vehicle, and you are going to be kind of upside down, right? You're going to have some negative equity. They'll actually do up to 125% if you have negative equity. I don't think it really gets much better than that. Pre-approval in minutes. Loan amounts up to 150K. Um, I mean, I, I really don't think it gets much better than, than what you're looking at here. So for 36 months... It's 5.24%. Again, we're looking at a new car. This is for prime credit. If your credit is bad, it'll be a little bit higher. 48 months, 5.44%. 60 months, 5.49. 72 months, 6.14. 84 months, 7.29. And then you can apply now. And then the rates follow. And, you know, per usual, the longer the, uh, the, longer the long term, the higher the rates, the lower the uh, term, the less the rates. You know, less risk for lower time, more risk for higher time. And see if I pre-qualify. And again, they won't affect your credit score. So I'm not a member of PenFed. Um, you can apply for a new auto loan if you're already a, a, a member. And not yet. Anyone can apply. So, I mean, guys, that is pretty much it. That's going to pretty much wrap this whole thing up. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe, please share this information. If you watch this whole video through and you follow these steps, even if your credit is bad, I, I can't make guarantees, but the chances of you getting approved using this method is high. It's, it's, it's very high. It, it's very likely. So again, Follow this method step by step. Drop in the comments. Did this work for you? Were you approved for that auto loan? Um, these are actionable steps you can actually take to make this happen. And if you're not in a rush and you could even join the unions and become a member and do the authorized user trade line, maybe like, you know, once you're ready, do it that way. If you're not in a rush, if you are in a rush, well, this is still, in my opinion, the fastest, best method that you can use. And again, every method that I give, I've done it before and it's worked for me. It's never any synthetic information. So please 
let me know how you guys are doing. If you need some options with credit repair, I will link some videos here. The ultimate guide to recurrent to repairing your credit is in the description. If you haven't checked out that guide, please go ahead and download that guide. I think it's the most, the, the most thorough information you can find for credit repair on YouTube. Um, and again, please put in the comments, let me know if you tried this, let me know if it worked for you. I appreciate you guys. I can will continue to do thorough research in order to find the best methods for you to build credit, uh, get financed and do a lot more. Again, I'm going to do a couple more videos on credit and then I'm going to move on because I do a lot more than just credit that I'm not a credit repair specialist. I am just a financial enthusiast. If if anything, just a regular guy who found different ways to make a lot of money online from doing very simple research and I just I want to bring that information to the masses in the simplest form possible because if you have a better financial standing it can have a better impact on your future and your day-to-day -day lives so I hope this made a difference to someone thank you for everything that you guys have done for me you have a wonderful day